happy to have you on my show. Do you like ASMR? <laughs> Honestly, I don't enjoy ASMR because I find it super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> like when you hear people eat very loudly. Yes. I think that is a no-go. Well, for ASMR, you just have to try to speak very softly and okay. slowly. Slowly. Yeah, and enjoy. Okay, tell us about yourself. You might know me as the Takeo girl or the Hawking girl on TikTok. Yeah, my name is Eating and I make Hawking contents and maybe some very relatable lifestyle contents. Actually, I have something to tell you. One of my aunt, yeah, she acted with you before. Oh, really? In a media cop show. Do you remember Dong Yu Ji? That was my Tai Biao Zhu. My aunt, she was the Xiao Long Nu. She was a child actor back then. How young was she? I think she was like primary school. Oh my god. And now she's a mom. She's already 30 plus. Now to think about it, I can be your mother. Yeah, around the same age as my mom. I... Oh yeah, call mommy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> Eating. Do you know what is this? <laughs> Although my IC start with T, but I'm quite a old soul. So actually, I grew up playing. Oh, 
you know about that? Yeah. So yeah. why do you bother with social media content creation? Actually, a lot of people ask me also because it's a very stark contrast. Yes. One is like so serious and the other one is like having fun. Exactly. You study, don't want to study. You go and play TikTok. I still study. For me, my studies is still the most important. It's still number one. Work hard. Play hard. Yeah. And being famous is not always a bad thing. But I don't know how long this can sustain me. So I think investing in myself, in my own skill is still the most important. How do you balance the time between study and then create content? <laughs> do you see my eye bags? <laughs> I don't really see. I can't see. <laughs> you are still young. So cute. Can you hear? It's like in a horror movie. Can you hear? Like... <laughs> my hair is like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You come from a single parent home. Yeah. Tell us about your upbringing. Growing up, I was extremely independent. So I started working since like 13, 14 years old. I remember I worked at my friend's family business. So I was just there, like, you know, tending to the store. It was just like below my house. That was my very first part-time job. Was it tough growing up then? Because you have to study and work at the same time. I just didn't get to enjoy a lot of things. I don't have the liberty to have time to watch dramas or like play games. It's okay, time well spent. Do you help to pay the bills as well? Yeah, everything I would earn and pay it by myself. Uh, yeah. I also come from single parent home. So I can kind of understand what you've been through. We make you stronger and more independent. It's not easy, but I guess you just try to enjoy the process. Life still needs to go on. Is your mother supportive of your decision being a content creator? Yeah, in fact, she joins me. My whole family, they were quite against the idea. And my mom was the only one who said like, if you enjoy it, just do it. But just make sure that you still know what you want in life. So, what do you do? for fun. I love playing the guitar and usually I'll be at home spending time with my dog or my siblings and maybe just some friendly drinking sessions with my friends. Besides drinking beer, what a jalusuka lim papa tea. So I got you Leo. Here are two unique flavors Leo would like us to try. The light aloha, the golden avocado. The avocado tastes very rich and smooth. It goes very well with the gula melaka. The sweetness from the fruit is very refreshing. Yeah, I've never tried this fruity kind of flavor before but I think this is going to be my new favorite. I think next time when I go to Leo, I will get this other than my usual milk tea order or else I'm always drinking the same thing. <laughs> Apart from Hokkien, English and Chinese, what other languages can you speak fluently? I can speak in Bahasa Melayu. Oh. Yeah, nama saya eating. Saya boleh cakap dalam bahasa Melayu kerana ada belajar di sekolah um, untuk 8 bulan. Saya boleh faham sedikit-sedikit saja. Saya boleh cakap sedikit-sedikit bahasa Melayu. Pandai. Terima kasih, terima kasih. Our mother tongue is uh, Chinese, you know, so it's quite interesting. What made you become Malay? Oh, I think because I do political science, right? And Singapore's national language is Malay. And it's also easier to connect with people on the ground. I think far. If you had to choose, would you prefer to stay in the social media space or you will get a job that is related to political science? I think because I pay a lot for my degree, so I don't want to waste it. <laughs> I would still want to pursue professional career and maybe social media on the side but who knows if i do very well these few years i might become a full-time content creator all the best to you don't
don't stop teaching Hokkien. <laughs>